as a writer you have the major challenge that you will face in getting more traffic especially from search engines you have written a fantastic blog you have given a lot of information useful information for the readers and there are millions of readers who are looking for that information but until they find your blog they cannot visit your blog and you will not get the traffic so it is very important that when they are searching for that information your blog should be there and should be visible there and that can happen only on a search engine especially on google because most of us when we look for some information we turn to google we find the information and we basically browse the website that is there on the first page of search engines first page of google so you also have to do the same thing when you write a piece of information a blog you have to determine the keyword right so this is the keyword that reflects the essence of your content and then you have to optimize your entire blog on that particular keyword so that when somebody is searching that keyword on google your blog should appear on the first page of google right so this is the essence of today's episode i am saket the founder of ecity and right now we are covering 40th episode of the logo files launch the logo files launch is a weekly video series dedicated to content writing and digital marketing please subscribe to our youtube channel so that you can get the latest update about content writing and digital marketing so uh, the first thing that you need to do is you have to find out a keyword in the previous episode of the logo files launch we have done a session on how do you find out the right keyword for your blog i have given the link of that blog in the description of this video please visit the link if you have not watched that episode it is very important to find the right keyword for your blog before you proceed before you do other seo activities once you have decided that this is the keyword which reflects the true essence of your content the next part is you have to follow you have to do certain activities of on page seo please do not get confused with this uh, technical term there are just a few activities that you need to perform to make sure that um, google's algorithm or the robot scan your content properly and they can understand your content and the structure of your content accurately once google robot has uh, understood that uh, your content is on what topic and your content is of high quality then the chances of getting your website ranked on google becomes much higher also google's algorithm is not a human being so they cannot read the content word by word and find out whether the quality is good or bad it's just a software program so it picks up the words it find out synonyms and a few other things and then check the signal whether um, it evaluates the signal to find out whether the content is of high quality or low quality as a writer you have to make sure that when google's algorithm is scanning scanning your content it should reflect that your content is written on a particular topic and it is of high quality and it has the valuable information for the readers if you can just do that 75% of the work is done right so of course doing the all these activities are very difficult especially when you do write a lot of blogs so doing all these activities manually is difficult so what we do is we are going to use a tool that will make your life much easier that tool name is yoast search engine optimization plugin yoast seo plugin this is for wordpress if you have your own domain name you can use wordpress seo plugin if you do not have a domain name and if you are using a free wordpress blog like xyz.wordpress.com you cannot used yoast seo plugin right so in the first part let's see how you can search install and activate this plugin so the first step is to add the plugin this you can do if you are the admin of your website 
then go to plugins click on add new and then you have you can just search for Yoast click on install now click on activate now this WordPress SEO is Yoast SEO is installed what you need to do is as getting started when you get started the first step that you should do is SEO con configuration widget so click over here and then it will ask you certain details that you need to fill up so whether your site is live or ready to be indexed for example your site is live and then whether it is a blog new channel small offline business corporation then if it is a blog then click on blog the name of the organization the logo facebook twitter the social media profile etc so it will ask all the details and you have to fill up uh, all the details like search engine visibility do you want your posts to be visible to search engines or not then in the fifth you will have whether you are the single author or you have multiple authors on your blog this is now it will be finished this is done to give the structured information about your organization to Yoast SEO this plugin will further submit this information to Google search engine that will be used for you that will be used by Google robot or uh, algorithm to update to scan your website and show your website pages posts blog etc in search engine results right so that is what that uh, you must do before you get start start publishing your post now in the next step I'm going to discuss if you have done this then how you go and when you add an individual post then what should be the method to optimize each and every post using WordPress SEO all right so now we have installed the plugin now let's see how we can use the plugin and what are the indicators that you need to take care of when you publish a blog now i'm going to tell you how you can optimize individual posts or pages right now i'm going to take an example of a post however you can also take an example of page and use the same technique to optimize any page of of a website right now we will add a post and then we will see how we can optimize our blog post for search engines click on add new so this is the blog that has been written I'm just taking copying and pasting it here this is we have posted the blog over here then you will see when you will scroll down Yoast SEO there the first thing that is it is asking is focus key phrase that is our keyword that we think is most appropriate for our content the blog was about simple steps to write IC, good ICO white paper so we will take it as a ICO white paper is our keyword this we have to decide now if you look at this I have entered the keyword which is ICO white paper now this plugin will analyze the content and based on that it will tell whether my content is optimized for SEO for Google or not let's see how so first it is showing mobile and desktop review when somebody is searching and when your website is appearing on Google this is how it will look like it looks perfect right this is the title this is description it is not being truncated it looks fine that is okay mobile result is more important because most of the results today are generated through mobile if you want something else to be shown over here then you can click on edit snippet and then you can make the changes you can also include title tag over here if you want to have this title if you want a different title to be uh, to appear on Google so you can change the title similarly you can also change the URL and then you can change the meta description which is again uh, you can add the description that will be visible this part which is visible to users on Google so you can make the changes as per 
whatever you want right this also play an important role because as per seo rules on page seo technique your keyword should appear in the title as well as meta description meta description or title is something when i am searching something on google for instance this is something that appears this is meta description and this is title ideally the keyword should be there in the title as well as meta description this is considered that it is optimized right this is ico white paper i'm sorry ico white paper right so the keyword should come in title as well as in description so for example this is coming like this okay so this is what you can make the changes over here in title and description then this is saying seo analysis in this you can say this is yellowish or orange mark right that means it has certain problems and it is recommending look at the parameters that it has evaluated and now it is recommending that these are the things which is good these are where you need improvement and these are the problem areas that you need to improve you can look at each one of these as your title length text length used the key phrases previously used key phrase keyword key phrase density right this is the keyword density whether the keyword density it should be between 1 to um, 2% of the total word count so there are 1074 words out of which 16 times this keyword is appearing which is around 1.6% which is good it is saying it is great key phrase length the keyword length is also fine that is IC white paper length right this is also fine these are the areas which is good right then it is saying that the keyword has been introduced in paragraph in the introduction itself which is again a good that is there in the first paragraph then now this is saying that these are the improvement area the exact match of the focus keyword appears in the SEO title but not at the beginning that means the moment you begin your uh, content you should include the key phrase right so the keyword is appearing right now here ideally it is recommended that you should the keyword should be there in the very first sentence so that it gets found immediately and similarly it is recommending other results as well like image alt attribute meta description length this one meta description length that you need to improve internal links you need to change links outbound links internal links means linking to your own websites own pages and outbound outbound links means linking to external sites okay some external sites some authoritative sites so that it appears that you have done proper research before uh, writing something so these are the things that you need to work on if you can work on these things then your content will become perfect for google and the chances are that it will be uh, appearing on google soon and then it will appear on top if the quality of content is also good these are the seo techniques that you need to take care of when you publish your blog fixing these will not take more than 15 minutes but it adds a lot of advantage to your marketing efforts that was the first part the second part comes over here now this is saying readability readability this finds out the score right and it is telling whether your content is readable or not now these are again one two three four five six seven parameters that it has evaluated and based on that it has given a score of 55.9 you have to make sure that at least readability readability uh, most of these points are in green so this will appear in green uh, ideal content for search engine optimization would be this SEO with will also be in green and then the readability part this will also be in green that becomes a perfect content for SEO for Google right now it is fixing these each of these with is quite easy it's not that a difficult task 
you have to so for example it is saying sentence length that is most of the sentences contain more than 20 words which is more than the recommended maximum of 25 percent that means a lot of sentences are longer sentences we need to make right a few sentences we have to make it shorter it is saying that passive voice have been used quite frequently that is 12.1 percent of the times so we should minimize the usage of passive voice we have studied in the class also that passive voice should not be there slash reading score it is saying 55.9 ideally it should be better than more than 65 70 it is good then it is saying that the consecutive sentences that means the text contains two instances where three or more consecutive sentences starts with the same word right that means that the consecutive sentences are starting with the same word and that makes it difficult to read or monotonous to read look at this like it is a blockchain then it is a great this is it is a blockchain and cryptocurrency project the ico white paper now the beginner words are changing now again here it is a great then it it then again it right so three and then here uh, once again it so it is saying that so look at this in this sentence four sentences consecutive sentences are starting with it that means the content seems to be monotonous not readable by the readers not very reader friendly so you should change these these are the things that you can take care of and this will ensure that uh, make sure before publishing the content make sure that seo and readability both are in green color and then this will be done it will be a perfect post right now i will make a few changes quickly and show you on how seo and readability can appear in green and if it will look it will look a fantastic blog i made a few changes to see how uh, whether this can be made in green or blue or not so you can see now seo is looking green readability is also looking green this is the ideal scenario when now you should go ahead and publish the content though i have taken a dummy content and that is why you might find some grammatical mistakes etc over here that should not be there make sure that the content should have quality what did i do to make this seo in green i just worked on these parameters so i included an outbound link for youtube channel internal link right key phase key phrase i added this in the in the introduction itself in the very first sentence i saw white paper i add an images a feature image suppose i put this one now it is saying all text this should also be your keyword i see right so my keyword is ICU white paper so i will put it here the alt tag also the email that you choose the alt tag of the email should be your keyword now this is seo is perfect readability is perfect you have added in one one image now you should go ahead and publish the content just by making these changes you can be assured that you will get dramatic improvement in the traffic right and that will be a consistent traffic over a long period of time sometimes it is a kind of a lifetime traffic therefore you should pay this additional time you should spend this additional time in optimizing your content improving its credibility from the google's algorithm robots perspective not i mean of course from the human's perspective you will write a good content but from the robots perspective also the content should be readable and it should reflect the true essence of the keyword for which you are optimizing this content thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe to our youtube channel to get the latest update about content writing digital marketing communication skills and personality development thank you very much